What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and thanks to Mr. Blaze, I just found out now in April 2020 that Google has updated Google Meet with a slew of new updates. Today, we are gonna be looking at some of these new features being rolled out, such as the 16 person tiled layout, the higher resolution for your video quality, the tab sharing with audio, and even more. Mr. Blaze found this article on 9 to 5 Google. I highly recommend it to keep up to date on anything Google education related. Before today, if you were in a Google Meet, there was a four person limit on the tile if you had more than four people in the Google Meet and I've told you about the grid view add-on extension that you could use to get up to like a hundred people but Google is now implementing a rollout on the web first a 4x4 four 16 four, person grid view that you should be hopefully seeing pretty soon now I don't believe mine is set up yet but here's what it's gonna look like and how you get there you're gonna want to go to this bottom right three vertical dot the more options and you're gonna want to go here to change layout and you'll have here sidebar spotlight tiled and you'll have the new one that's going to be the 4x4 16 when it gets rolled out very soon now you've probably been in a couple conference calls where you can't see some of the participants because their lighting isn't very good so what Google's going to be implementing is called low light mode and this is going to enhance after five seconds of the meet has started Google will automatically detect if it's an area of low light and as these lighting conditions change meet will intelligently adapt to increasing the lighting conditions or lowering them based on what's going on. Similarly, Google Meet can now filter background noise distractions. It's already done a great job at figuring who's speaking and switching the view to kind of show who is speaking, but now if you have a dog in the background or a kid screaming in the background, it's gonna do a much better job at taking that audio and just pulling it out. Another issue I've had is that the video quality of a Google Meet has not been very good. But now, thankfully, they've increased the resolution and I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you jump into a meeting and I get started, I'm now going to see right here the dot 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 more options and I want to go to settings and I'm going to now go to the video settings box right here. As you can see right here, the sending resolution is standard definition automatically set at 360. We want to bring it up to high def and the same thing for receiving. Bring it up for high definition. Now click done and your camera quality is going to be way better. These small tweaks and improvements really make a big difference in video conferencing. You're able to engage with your participants, with your audience so much more when you can hear and see them better, just like if you were in a real life conference. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more updates, so I will make sure to keep you in the know. If you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of that, hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot and make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.